Hey, divine ones. Y'all come in. Come in with me for a minute. Come in with me for a minute, baby. I'm out here in the bad weather. Out here in the bad weather. Trying to get y'all a video out. <laughs> in the bad weather, baby. Y'all come on in here. Come on in here. Yes, all my divine ones. How y'all doing, baby? How y'all doing? I got a quick word for y'all. I got a quick word for y'all. So y'all listen. I was in the mall. Just came out the mall getting last minute shopping. Okay, I'm a, I'm I'm one of them last minute shoppers. Last minute shopping trying to get the children stuff for school, the last little bit of stuff for school. And as I was uh coming bike out here to the truck, I had my bags and, and it was just so many bags, y'all. Because like I said, I was last minute shopping. So I'm trying to get everything at the last minute. So I got all these bags. I'm weighted down. Oh, glory be to God. God, thank you for the revelation. Y'all listen. I'm finna go somewhere with this. I got all these bags in my hand. I'm weighted down. I'm dropping stuff. And then as I'm coming to the front entrance of the mall, getting ready to walk out, I see the clouds and I see, you know how you see everything and you could tell it, it's about to get real bad, real quick. The weather about to get real bad, real quick. And I tried to hurry up and go in my pocketbook, go ahead and get the key to the truck so I can go ahead and have the door unlocked because I knew, I knew it was just going to, it was going to be any minute that the clouds was just going to burst, baby. And that rain was going to break out and it was going to be a hot mess out here. So I'm running y'all. I'm just running, trying to get to the truck, trying to hurry up and get to the truck. For the, for the rain store and I got all these bags I'm weighted down and when I got in the truck literally like as soon as I got in this truck it's like everything was just it's like everything was held back or something but as soon as I got in the truck y'all when I tell you it just whoosh, like and I and I had to sit here for a few minutes because it was raining so hard. It was raining so bad. I didn't want to pull off and drive like that. And and I'm, let me tell y'all something what the Holy Spirit told me. God say just in time. <laughs> he said just in time, baby. Y'all put that in the comments. Put that in the comments. I heard the Holy Spirit say just in time. And God said get up here. He said I want you to tell my people. I want you to get on this video. And I want you to let my people know. He said let the divine ones know. He said let the chosen ones know. Baby, you just in time for your breakthrough. Do you understand me? You just in time for your miracle. You, you think you gonna miss it. Listen to what God say. You think you're going to miss it. Everybody getting in there for you. Everybody getting blessed before you. Come on now. Everybody business blowing up for yours. Everybody uh, book selling out bestseller before yours. But God said, don't you get in no hurry, baby. He said, don't you rush. Because God said, you're going to be just in time. Just like I made it to this truck just in time. And listen to me, y'all. Not a drop on me. <laughs> not a drop on me baby i'm dry not a drop and it's pouring down raining but not a drop got on me why because of the favor of god let me tell y'all something y'all put that in the comments too baby said the favor of god because the favor of god is on your life listen to me baby hear ye the prophetic word of the lord i hear the spirit of the lord say because the favor of god is on your life you're gonna make it just in time they saving a space for you. Do you understand me? They saving a space for you, baby. Mm -hmm. They saving a seat for you. You know how I know that? Because the Bible says that a man's gift will make room for him. Glory be to God. Because of the gift that the Lord has placed on the inside of you, they got to make room for you. I dare you to put that in the comments, baby. I dare somebody to say it today. Say they got to make room for me. I don't care how many folk they got working up in that thing. I don't care how many, how many, how how much they done sold out, baby. They gonna have to go in the Bible. I can find something for me because they got to make room for me because I hear the spirit of the Lord say baby because my favor is on you come on now he said because my anointing is on you God said baby you're gonna slide up in that thing like Eddie Kane Jr. and you're gonna be just in time glory be to God I said oh God I thank you let me tell y'all something God said for the rest of the day he said I want y'all to just walk around say I'm just in time I'm just in time these folks gonna be looking at y'all like oh I feel the power of God he said they're gonna be looking at y'all like y'all crazy baby but you better declare it today you better tell it say it in the face of the devil baby say I'm just in time come on now I might have been broke busted and disgusted devil woo but I'm just in time come on now I'm just in time for my breakthrough I might have had to fight through death hell in the grave to get here baby but I'm just 
just in time for my breakthrough. I hear the Lord say that y'all ain't going to miss not one thing. I hear God say, I'm going to see to it that you get your stuff. Do you understand me? God see about his own now. God say, I'm going to see about my children. Don't y'all worry about that. You a divine one. You a chosen one. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, I'm going to see to it that you get everything that belongs to you. Do you understand me? But God say, you got to receive it by faith. You ain't going to get this, baby, unless you, you, you got to have faith in order to receive this. Glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, just in time. And as I was sitting in my truck, Sitting right here watching this rain pour down. Guess what? It was some folks out here got stuck. <laughs> it was some folks out here got stuck. It was some folks out here that didn't make it in time. Come on now, y'all catch this in the spirit. They ain't make it in time. And I'm sitting in here in the dry. I'm sitting in here in the favor of God. Come on now. And I'm looking at everybody else out there in, in a mess. Okay, God said it's going to be some folks out there in a mess, baby. They're going to get caught up in the mess. They're going to get caught up in the stuff that's going on. But God said because the favor of God is on you, he said you're going to make it just in time. You're going to make it just in time. You keep working your gift, baby. Listen to me. I hear the Lord say, be not weary in well-doing. Come on now. He said, for in due season, you shall reap. Woo! Only if you faint not, baby. If you in your gift, if you done tapped into your purpose, baby. If you done, if you done woke up to your divine one, your chosen one conscience, I hear the Lord say, keep going. Keep going, baby. Because, because you have come into your identity, you know who you are in Christ, they got to make room for you. They can't lie to you no more, baby, because you walk in the truth. Do you understand me? They can miss you with all them lies, baby, because now you know the truth about who you are. And if you don't know who the truth about, if you don't know the truth about who you are, keep coming on my Instagram and my YouTube and you'll find out. Because I'm going to get up here and tell you every day, baby, who you are. Do you understand me? You are the righteousness of God. Don't believe none of these lies that the devil done told y'all. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Do you understand me? It is your father's good pleasure to give his favor, to shower his favor over your life. It is your father's good pleasure, baby, to blow you up from the flow up. Do you understand me? It is his good pleasure to see you prosper. The Bible says, beloved, I wish above all things, come on now, that thou mayest prosper woo, and be in good health even as your soul prosper. God said, don't you let nobody fool you. He said, my blessing makes rich, baby. Don't let these folks have y'all thinking that you got to be broke and penny pinching just to serve God because God said, my blessing makes rich. Come on now. And it don't add no sorrow to it. God said, my stuff ain't going to have y'all walking on eggshells. My stuff ain't going to have you nervous. My stuff ain't going to have you tiptoeing tip and, and, and antsy and, and you just don't know where you stand. God's stuff ain't going to have you like that, baby. The blessing of the Lord makes rich. And I hear the Lord say, for many of you that are in your single season, God said, don't you get in no hurry. God said, I know you see these folks getting proposed to. You see these folks having their weddings and stuff. But God said, baby, you're going to be just in time for your breakthrough. Do you understand me? God said, just when you thought all the good men was gone. Come on now. He said, just when you, ooh, glory be to God. He said, just when you thought that all the good women was gone, God said, I'm going to pull something out special for you. Come on now. Because of who you are in me, God said, I'm going to make room for you, baby. And you're going to be just in time You think your time done passed baby But God said I'm just getting started Come on now God said don't count, don't count yourself out just yet baby Because I hear the Lord say you're going to be just in time And I hear people saying How in the world she get in Come on now, how in the world he get in the door? How in the world he get a table Because the favor of God is on you baby Tell him favor ain't fair Favor ain't fair But you let him know I had to go through hell to get him Come on now I ain't, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a walk in the park. You don't know how many nights I had to cry. Y'all tell these folks. You don't know how many days I had to go without. You don't know how many days I had to rob Peter to pay Paul. So God say, baby, when you get into the blessing, he says, sit in that thing like you belong in that thing. Because you do. Glory be to God. And don't you let now devil talk you out of your stuff. I hear the Lord say you just in time. Woo. God say you just in time. That's right, baby. Favor ain't fair. But the favor of God is all over y'all. If you listening to this message, you listen. Take this as your sign to let you know that God has put you in alignment with this word because this word is for you. This word is straight. It's hot off the throne of God. Straight from my mouth, from my spirit to yours. And God handmade it. He hand cooked this thing up and he's serving it out just for you. You're going to be just just in time. Don't you get in no hurry. I hear the spirit of the Lord say slow and steady. Come on now. God says some of y'all done got in a hurry. And he said when you get in a hurry, you mess it up. You mess it up, baby. I learned. Woo. 
Ooh, I done learned my lesson because I used to be I, in, in, as a young girl. I, I, I wanted stuff quick. Do you understand me? I want it quick. I walk on the car lot. I get the first car I buy. I want it quick. If I if I can't get it quick, I used to get mad. I used to get I used to get aggravated. I used to get upset because I couldn't get my way. God said, slow that thing down, baby. Y'all put that in the comments. Say you got to slow that thing down. What's the rush? Who God, I thank you. What's the rush, baby? God said you gonna be just in time. You ain't got the rush. Y'all ever been riding down the road and a person zoom past you? They like they in such a big rush. They zoom right on past you, and then. Y'all end up getting to the place at the same time. <laughs> they passing cars, about to have a wreck, about to take themselves up out of here. And then y'all pull up at the light at the same time. Or y'all pull up at the store at the same time. So God said, slow that thing down, baby. He said, what's the rush? He said, you still going to get there. You're going to get there when you're going to get there when you're supposed to get there. If you mess up, if you mess up. I think I heard Dr. Miles Monroe say this. Yeah, it was Dr. Miles. He said, he said, trying to take a shortcut. He said a shortcut end up being the longest way. He said a shortcut is the longest way to success. You know why? Because there is no shortcuts. You can't take no shortcuts, baby. Glory be to God. Don't try to take no shortcut. God want to put you in a slow cooker. God trying to cook you slow and steady. Cause God is trying to, he, he's getting you, see what, as you, as he cook you slow and steady, you becoming somebody. It's the becoming for me. Come on now. It ain't the stuff that I get. Cause God said, you're going to get plenty of stuff, babe. God said, this stuff going to be at y'all fingertips. What you want. You can have whatever you want. The blessing make rich. But God said, it ain't got nothing to do with that, baby. God said, it's the person that you become. That's why you set goals. Because as you work towards those goals, it requires you to be somebody else. The woman that made four figures can't make six figures. It's going to take another type of woman. Do you understand me? It's going to take another type of mindset. The man that made four figures, he can't make six and seven figures. That, that man going to have to become somebody else in here. That's why you set the goal, baby. You don't set the goal for the money. You set the goal for who you become. Glory be to God. Apostle Paul say, I count not myself to have apprehended. Come on now. But he said, this one thing I do. So you got to press, baby. It's all about pressing. The Apostle Paul knew the importance of a goal. You got to set your goal, baby. And you got to press every day to reach your goal. Because it's not about the stuff that you get. It's the person that you become. See, he said, I count not myself to have apprehended. That means that I'm not where I need to be today. I'm not. And that's all right. See, a lot of people are, are use that to make y'all think that you out of place. No, you working. You becoming to be the highest version of yourself. And God said, learn how to fall in love with the process. That's what he told me. I made a video about that a few weeks ago. He said, tell them they got to fall in love with the process. See, when you falling in love with somebody, you know you can't rush that thing. You got that, that, that thing got to go slow and steady, baby. You got to take your time. Y'all got to talk. Y'all got to get to know one another. You can't be trying to jump steps. You can't be trying to jump stages. That's how you get messed up and y'all end up being strangers all that just to be strangers again you know why because you tried to skip the process glory be to god god said you got to take the thing slow and steady he said you're gonna get there just in time because let me tell you something baby when you a divine one when you a chosen one you cannot miss nothing you cannot miss out on your stuff baby let me tell you something i don't care if you go from here to africa and stay in africa two years Guess what? When you come back, your stuff going to be waiting on you because you're going to be just in time for what God got for you. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say what God got for me is just for me. And so many folk can't even go to work. They too big. They, they scared if they go to work, they're going to miss out on their on they stuff. They think they're going to miss out on bae. They're going to miss out on boo. They can't even go get their diploma and their degree and stuff because they think they're going to miss out. God said, baby, if something for you, I don't care what you do. It, you ain't going to be able to lose it. You ain't going to be able to get rid of it, baby. When it's for you. Do you understand me? But see, we got to learn how to let stuff go that ain't for us. Because if it take too much sweat, come on now. If it take too much effort, if it cause you to lose yourself, it ain't for you. Glory be to God. God said you're going to be just in time. You ain't got to worry. You ain't got to get in no rush. You ain't got to put off stuff you got to do. God said go ahead and do what you need to do. I went in now in the mall. I went in every store I needed to go in. And I shopped till I needed to. I got everything I needed to shop for for my children. So did. And, and still made it to the truck in time for the rain story. So God said, take your time and do everything you need to do. 
You need to get your body right? Well, go get your body right. You need to go get that degree? Go get your degree. Because your blessing going to be just in, you going to be just in time. You ain't going to miss out on nothing. Glory be to God. And we got to know how to let stuff go. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, let it go. Let it go. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, let it go. We got to learn how to let stuff go. Because see, when you hold on to stuff for dear life because you're afraid to lose it, you done already lost it. You done already lost it, baby, because you, you done lost yourself. You can't, you can't lose yourself trying to hold on to stuff, baby. If it take you losing yourself, you got to let it go. If it take you losing your self-worth, your self-love, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. And if it's meant for you, it'll come back and it'll come back the right way. It won't come back on that same mess it was on before. It'll come back the right way. Glory be to God. But God said, you keep on moving, baby. I hear God say, y'all keep on walking towards the promised land. Because God got a land for you. Do you understand me? God got a land for you that is flowing with milk and honey. God got a land for you, baby, with the fat grapes. God got a land for you, baby, where you can lay by the pool all day. God got a land for you. But you got to keep moving forward. Because God ain't going to bring it to you. You got to get up and go to it. That's what I learned. I had to learn that, Toya. You, you, you ain't got no... You ain't got no rescuer. You sitting here waiting on somebody to come rescue you. Ain't nobody never coming to rescue you. You are your rescue plan. And I'm talking to my men and my women. You are your rescue plan. Don't you sit down and wait for no man. Don't you sit down and wait for no woman to rescue you. You get up and you use the gifts that God placed on the inside of you. So when God does, when God do send somebody into your life, you got something to offer them that they can't find around the corner. They can't find around the street. Why? Because you done took the time to develop yourself. You done took the time to find your purpose you done took the time to learn your gifts and develop those gifts glory be to god that's what gonna separate you from the rest i bet you i bet you they ain't doing that everybody worry about everything else they worry about the quick stuff they worry about the quick come up they worry they want that microwavable stuff glory be to god i got to get off y'all because i got to call my auntie she got my children but let me tell y'all don't 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 fall for this microwavable stuff don't fall for that stuff, baby. Let God put you in a slow cooker. You ain't got to get in no hurry. You ain't got to say, I remember when I was younger. When I was younger, I, I, I couldn't go in the military. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. Why? Because I felt like, oh, I, I, need, to, I need to be here. Uh, he's not going to wait for me. Uh, Y'all know how we do. Uh, I, I'm going to miss out on this. I'm going to miss out on that. And I ain't going to miss out on nothing. Because what God got for you, you can't miss out on it, baby. A lot of y'all, especially my young women, a lot of y'all, you don't even want to go to college. You sitting home, you don't even want to go to college because you think this boy ain't going to wait for you. Baby, go on about your business. <laughs> Do you understand me? Because if it's for you, when you get your degree and you come up out that thing, he going to be right there. Do you understand me? And he going to have him something to go along with your degree. I better not see none of y'all putting y'all life on hold for nobody. Do you understand me? Because I'm 33 years old and you know what? What I'm doing right now, I could have did it when I was 21. I could have did it when I was 21. I'm doing it now, but I could have did it 10, 15 years ago. Glory be to God. But but thinking that I'm going to miss out on something. You ain't missing out on nothing, baby, because ain't nothing in this world but trouble. Jesus told you in the world, you're going to have tribulation. In the world, you're going to have troubles. You're going to go through things. As long as you out here in this world, that's the only thing this world got to offer you is trouble and a headache. Glory be to God. You better find your purpose and you better get in your gift and you better work every day to develop your gift because as long as you're doing that, everything that's meant for you, you will not miss out on it. You're going to be just in time. I can tell y'all that, baby. Because when you're doing work for the kingdom, God don't let nothing fall through the cracks. When you're doing work for the kingdom, if there's a woman that you desire, God going to take care of that. When you're doing work for the kingdom, if there's a man that you desire, God going to take care of that. Do you understand me? When you're doing work for the kingdom, baby, you got problems with your children, God going to take care of that. You know how I know that? Because God ain't going to have you putting in work for his kingdom and your life in a mess. God ain't going to have you out here proclaiming his name and you broke, busted, and disgusted. Glory be to God. God going God gonna to bring you out for his name's sake. 
he gonna bring you out for his name's sake. Y'all, I love y'all so much, but it's it's raining real bad where I'm at, so I got to call my children, make sure they all right, and I'm gonna check back in with y'all later. Y'all, we still got tickets for the Atlanta conference. I wanna see y'all in Atlanta. Y'all come on out to the A, and uh, we're gonna be at the Hilton Atlanta Hotel on 255 Cortland Street. Go to my website, IamLatoyaOkeel.com, and get your tickets, and the link for the tickets is also in the bio here on Instagram, okay? I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.